for Joe's Mall. 40 days. All right, day one. You wake up in the middle of Foxley Allen, uh, having just ran into um, the assassin right. who threatened you. Yep. Uh, you were pretty freaked out. I'm assuming Extremely you still wanted to... Extremely freaked out, yeah. You still wanted to hit the road as fast as you yeah. could? Yeah, yep. All right. Let's um, get the hell out of Dodge. Where would you like to go? You are here. Um, I don't... I feel like... Are there any other cities that are, like, <laughs> further away from, like, the port... Or something. Well, Alagon. I mean, Alagon is the port city that you right. went to. That one had a little bit of a Rigel area, so maybe not great. We're thinking of ordering pizza and wings. Did you guys want? Uh, yeah. If you could give me a, like a how much that would cost, I would probably be willing to go in with that. Okay. Well, I, I don't know exactly how much it'll be, but like yeah, we'll depending on how many people actually want. And we'll yeah. Like, how much like once you figure out how much it's gonna be, I'd just like to, okay. to know how much. Any preferences and like what to get? Uh, I like medium wings and sausage, peppers, onions as a topping. Okay. Um, I just ate a huge sandwich, so I'm pretty stuffed still. Cool. Plus we'll have, like, their, their chips and Cool. So, Alagon's the biggest city. It has the most people that you could hide in, but it also has... It's closest to where the Rigelans can come in. Uh, Olier is the capital of the kingdom. That's a decent place to disappear if you wanted to. Is it somewhere it's, I could get to quickly, kind of? Or how, how far of a journey? It's a little bit more walking... Um, because it's further away, it would take you probably about three days okay, to walk there. So There's also the city of Millar, which is a technologically advanced sort of tinker's guild. It's very, very up hosses speed. To get to there would either be a slog through a desert, which would be a little risky, or uh, hopping a ship in Elgon. And what's Oli- Olier? Like? Olier is the capital. It's kind of like. In terms of population, it's the mid-range between the three, uh, and it's the most, like, Korma kingdom of them all. Most what? Korma kingdom. Okay. So it's, like, the most... It has mostly people from this region, not a lot of outsiders oh, like okay. Rigellans. Hmm. Which would make me stand out more. <laughs> you would stand out a little bit more. But it's also away from Alagon, where yeah. all the Rigellans you've seen so far were. Right. Um, all right, I feel like Jasmal would want to see something different with the free time. She's ready to get out there and explore, so Absolutely. maybe... Absolutely. So you head over to Olier. Olier, yeah. All right. Uh, it's a three-day journey to Olier, give or take. Uh, could you please... Or I suppose, would you kindly... Uh, I don't know, do you play a lot of Bioshock? Uh, no. Oh. There's a... Uh, it, in the very first Bioshock, with a little bit of a spoiler warning, it turns out that this guy who would give you missions and he'd always say, would you kindly? Uh, would you kindly was actually programming that caused you to uh, have to do whatever he said. Oh, okay. So would you kindly, kindly was kind of like a, uh, it was a, a mind fuck. Uh, go ahead and roll three D12s. Okay. 11? Okay. One. Okay. Mm. Six? Yeah, six. Alright. Uh, everybody on the first day out of city has interesting trouble. <laughs> so, uh, please roll these for me, and I need to borrow something from Scott. Yeah, yeah, Fair thank enough. you. So. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So, as you were traveling out of Boxley Allen, making your way along the road, you see a uh, small collection of, we'll say you are unfamiliar with these beasts, but they are essentially a small herd of very, very large, well-maintained, like pristine looking elk. Oh, okay. Who are observing you from the edge of the forest as you're walking along. It's just, there's like, they're sort of at the edge of the forest watching you. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything? <laughs> um, I guess I would like to try to just casually walk by and see if I can just, you know, just keep an eye on them as I try to like move mm. past. Okay. See what they do as I do that. <laughs> the elk are just watching you walk past. <laughs> and as they observe you on your way past, they all kind of just turn and head back into the forest. All right. <laughs> I guess I continue on my way. Oh, well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if you approach them and try to communicate, they weren't just regular elk. <laughs> uh, day three, you arrive at the city of Olier. Large um, slums um, kind of border the area. You can see that there are... Uh, you can pretty clearly see that there are different um, districts within the city. Each district seems to actually have the aesthetic appropriate to the inhabitants. So, like, there's a, a dwarven smithing district with a lot of black smoke from all those um, furnacing... There is a more foresty elven district with a lot of uh, natural growth and trees that are formed into houses. There's a uh, squat halfling district that just assaults you with the smell of really well-cooked food. Um, there's an open market bazaar. There's a dock district full of people buying and selling wares and all that sort of thing. All right. Um, is there anything in particular you wanted to look for? Um, I think I still do want to try to see about finding a theater troupe to kind of end up with. So I might look around for someone who seems approachable, who seems like they might be able to give me some advice on right. where I might find a kind of like Can I just see vibrant the, uh... place in the city. Totally. Let's see, you are... Okay, you are on the, on the wrong side of the festival. Okay. Um, so, you probably didn't bring your character sheet with you, did no, you? No, sorry. Yeah. So, just go ahead and roll this for me. Yeah. 11. Okay. Uh, a little bit of poking and prodding, uh, a couple of um, questions here and there. You are able to find somebody who uh, directs you over towards a very, very small building in the middle of the market district that seems to be operating as a very, very low-class theater troupe. And they seem to put on a presentation by the famous poet Shmilliam Shakespeare. Damn it! <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, they're putting on a production, and they are happy to have your services in their uh, theater troupe. Okay. Um, are they going to pay me, or are they just going to, like, do we get paid... Uh, one person who you talk to says that uh, the thrill of the stage is its own reward, but the person standing right next to him who has like a, a spectacles and a book says, no, 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 we, we pay you. Are they uh, a traveling according... troupe or are they kind of more stationary? They say that they're more of a stationary troupe, um, but with this being such a huge city, you get a lot of people coming and going. Oh, okay. So you can talk with them and get their stories kind of secondhand. Okay, hand. cool. Um, but yeah, they, they will pay you to offset your uh, living costs. Okay, so not much, but so enough like, to... Basically, like, instead of having to pay for food and room every single day, you are able to get Just enough coin to yeah. balance it out, yeah. Okay, that's kind of what I was looking for, so that's fine. All right. So is that basically what you wanted to do the whole time? <laughs> kind of, I mean, you I have, wanted... For context, you have 36 more days to do anything you want. You could spend all that time doing the theater troupe. You will learn a lot of information about the city. Probably develop a really good relationship with the theater troupe in case you ever come across them again. Uh, maybe you get a tattoo of an eye on your ankle. 
and turn into Count Olaf from a series <laughs> of unfortunate events with your own little theater troupe. Um, you could also do something else if you wanted. Like, Joff did a lot of traveling. He ended up doing... Um, Lysander stayed in exactly one place and developed his artist skill. It took him most of his time to do that. Um, you could develop very strong connections with these people and some interesting stories about the area, or you could do something else. Um, could I maybe do, like, half my time with them? Like, you know, like two weeks or something, and then then move on somewhere else? Sure. Um, uh, any ideas where you'd want to head? I don't know. I mean... If you here, just look at this map. Yeah. Point to somewhere interesting and ask me what's that. Okay. <laughs> so wait, I, where where is the city where I am right now? The city where you are is at the direct center of the orange line. Okay. What's Zaga? Zaga tag. Oh. Um. Oh, Zagal tag. Oh, Zagal tag. That is the uh, the capital of the dwarven kingdoms. Your friend Threnon went there and oh, is currently okay. negotiating with the Kagats to try and get his uh, okay. fortress set up. I think I'll let Threnon do his own thing. You don't want to help uh, him out? Make sure he gets it done properly? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'll the, let him. The Black Triangles are all Dwarven Kingdoms. Okay. Each one is a little different from the other. Um, the stars represent cities. The uh, towers represent towns. The small little houses represent... Uh, villages, and there are some stuff that's not on the map, but is near that area. Okay. And so, like at the end of, if you spend thirty six halved to fifteen to eighteen, if you spend eighteen days with the troop, you will learn any interesting things about most of these areas. Okay. Um. Which would be like the next most like vibrant or bustling um, city nearby? <laughs> Um, the most bustling area would probably, probably be Augsbane down here. It's not a city, it's a, a medium-sized town, but it's, um, it's near enough to Old Year that it kind of gets a lot of their, kind of like their off traffic. So, like, it's kind of the New Jersey versus the New York. Okay. Um, in terms of, like, just sheer numbers of bustling and interesting things to do, Alagon takes the cake right. all the way. But... You know what? I think I should go back to Alagon and you're gonna go back to Alagon. Yeah, why not? So you're gonna spend <laughs> eighteen days in only uh, but, um <laughs> I think I would take some steps to like really, really disguise myself as much as possible to <laughs> So much for us. Okay, <laughs> to avoid um detection, you know, or you know, to make sure that I'm not obviously an escaped slave again. Okay. Um, <laughs> so first you spend your 18 days uh, in Olier with yeah. the theater troupe. Um, so yeah, if like there's some sort of object I could buy like that bracelet that whoever had to like permanently disguise if I could go looking for something like that or is there something I could yeah. buy or like... Unfortunately, no. magic items are too rare to too be purchased. Rare. If you contacted a mage, you could potentially have them craft one for you. It would obviously take time and coin. Yeah. Um, but it is something you could possibly do. And Olier has a perfectly functioning uh, mages guild okay. that you could negotiate Would it with. be something that I could afford, probably, based on, like... Uh, that is a good question. Because I know, like, she has that whole, like, forget full potion, which I thought would be fun, but after what happened, I don't see her using that, because it's not really safe to just, like, forget everything <laughs> when people are still after you, so... Um, oh, that's sad. I really like that potion. Well, I mean, she she might, if she can get something to alter her appearance <laughs> enough um, to feel safe doing that. Okay, here we go. Uh... problem of being a DM on the go. Don't have a, a base of operations where everything's within grasp. Luckily, the internet provides. Um, I just need to look up what... What are you what. guys talking about? We are discussing a role-playing game. Oh. 
Yep. She's trying to hide from some people who are hunting her. Yep, Rainbow. I'm hiding from Rose. <laughs> we have a lot in common. <laughs> Why do we have a lot in common? Because I'm also trying to hide from people. <laughs> who are you hiding from? Um, some bad guys who want to get me. <laughs> like what bad guys? Robbers, murderers? Um, <laughs> there are people who want to capture me and make me do work. What kind of work? Um, <laughs> that's a lot of questions. Um, I'm a very questioning. Girl. That's good. I like that. Um, they would basically make me perform for them all day, playing my music. But I like to just play for myself, not other people. It would cost you two weeks and 200 gold pieces. How much? Uh, okay. 200? Actually, sorry, 200 would be their base cost. It would also, they would request 100 gold on top of that for personal use. It's like, you're not doing this. You're not spending your time doing this. You're having them do this. So it's 200 for the item, 100 for them to do it. Okay. Hmm. And they could I'm have the item completed. I'm how much, like, Scott divvied out to us with the gems and everything. Uh, Why, Scott? Wait, hang on a second. I feel like it was something like 80 plus a bunch of gems. Plus you have your own yeah. supply. Yes. Sure. Sorry? Five dollars? Okay, that's within range for me. Um, it's in my coat. Okay. If you need it right now. Uh, well, you know. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea how much gold um, everybody has? Uh, you, you should have 80 you should have at least 80 gold. Plus those gems, right? Did you give gems? I think, I or think were he, the gems... I think he had counted that oh, in okay. gold. Yeah, I think so. No, no, you got... No, we each got... Nah. <laughs> you, have, you have 80 gold and then some miscellaneous silver. It's 80 gold, 60 silver, 30 um, copper, and there may be a gem. I have so, um, unfortunately... That does not seem like it's within the range you're right. talking about. So, it's like it's entirely possible you go back, you look at your character sheet, and you're like, "Oh, I have a thousand gold." No, definitely. <laughs> I don't think I have that much. <laughs> but even if I like sold everything that I have, I don't think it would quite be that much. Probably not. I mean, that silver short sword is probably worth quite a bit. Yeah. But other than that, I don't think so. Um. So unfortunately, it looks like purchasing this magic item is out of your grasp. So you're gonna have to go with conventional means of disguise. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, in that case, I guess I'll just do like half the time there and go back to Then head to Haligon. Haligon All right, you're gonna run into Hoss and his chillness. Um, after about two or three weeks, you develop a good relationship with the troop. There's about five individuals, um, mix of races. Most of them are more exotic. There's not a lot of like Korma humans because they're kind of gathering together like outcasts gathering together to go play right. the show um if you're interested I can give you their names and some of their personalities yeah, I would like to just totally. a little bit of detail just, just to know what I did with <laughs> yeah, yeah. those three weeks or I just need a need a little bit of time to get that sort of right, you, can, you can always tell me but, later or something um, and you also pick up plenty of stories throughout the day. Yeah, like, like if you could give me an overview of like yeah. maybe like some of the yeah. stuff I now know about yeah or... basically you you know a lot more about the Cormac ki Kingdom history. You know, like it was founded when the king, when the soon to be king, slayed a evil dragon on the lakes of the water here. And that blow kind of established him as a, a powerful leader, and people flocked to him. And that began his control of this region. And then he started extending his control out to here. And then he headed up to here and he killed a dragon. And then he gave this land to one of his knights. And then much later, uh, evil came out of these mountains and attacked, and that's uh, was pushed back by the forces here. There's like a different okay. king, but like this area is kind of known for its militarism and sort of like we defend the world mindset. Right. This area, the barons kind of um, the leader suffered a illness, and a friend of his from out of uh, the kingdom somewhere far away has replaced him as a uh, as a steward, and they control the region there now. There's some questions about what's going on there because a lot of uh, lawlessness is kind of taking hold. It's kind of, it's it used to be a very prosperous area. It's starting to become more um, not. Okay. And this area is known for its tech, and really only has the one big 
point of civilization and then a lot of tribal people okay. who are sort of devoted to the old ways and tech like what is tech in this like world? they literally have a clock tower oh, that is okay. cool. like a clock tower the size of big ben and that's like oh my god that's amazing right. they can tell time um they also have plenty of artificers which are similar to hoss walking around right. they don't have a lot of the guns they're more of like the, the mixing and tinkering and stuff but they're all about like the little gears and bobs and the small walking people um this area that you're in is known for its sort of uh, control, its political power. It's got a lot, it pulls in a lot of resources and puts out a lot of interesting things. And Sadar, where you were, is known for its melting pot. Boxley Island, obviously not a particularly friendly area for mages, but Alagon is hugely uh, expansionist. You, and you also learned some of the history of the Korma, like some of the interesting tales, like, like the dragon. Like right. you probably played a dragon or a whaling mistress or something like that in yeah. one of the earlier shows uh, and just sort of uh, learn some more about the history of the area and some interesting and some new tales that you can bring cool. back. Uh, after about a couple of weeks of that, right around the time you're thinking, maybe I should head back to Alagon, uh, you're coming out of the tavern, you and your, uh, your friends had a drink, you had a nice meal, they're heading back to their places. Um, you've been staying in this, it's not seedy tavern, but it's sort of a little lesser known so that way you kind of keep out of the eyes of everybody. And you watch as this drunken guy is stumbling around. He's like, blah, 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 blah. and then he spots uh, you and him both hear this whimpering down an alleyway. Oh, I wonder what that could be. <laughs> and he watches. He's like, uh, <laughs> I got something. And he reaches down. And he picks up a rock and oh, he geez. hurls it down the alleyway. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the the whimpering get louder. All right. <laughs> Is it my turn to, <laughs> yeah, it's your to turn. jump in? All right. I'm like, hey, asshole, what do you think you're doing? And I just start yelling at him. <laughs> He's like, what? There's a fucking stray. There's hundreds of them all over the place. I need to get out of the city. They're clogging up the road. All right. Keep walking or I'll make you keep walking. <laughs> ah, I was walking anyways. And he stumbles away. He trips over her, he trips over his own foot and pfft, into the mud and then he's, he's like ah he gets up and keeps going. Laugh at him and point at him. He he feels bad. Good. Go ahead and roll vicious mockery damage. <laughs> Alright. I will. Alright. Is that nine plus Yes. Yeah. It works. Congratulations. <laughs> uh looking down the other way you can drunk see idiot. I scream drunkenly. <laughs> uh looking down the alleyway you can see that there is a a very um, she's it's an obviously an aged uh, female any interest in uh, the kind of dog you want Jasmal to have um, well, or do you want me to just run something for you just some like <laughs> big cool dog I don't okay. know whatever <laughs> so you notice what would essentially account for like a mutt with uh, a mix of a uh, black lab uh, a little bit of like a like a husky black lab kind yeah. of mix um, is lying on the ground uh, there's a little bit of blood from the rock, and you notice that she seems to be in the middle of giving birth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Uh, good. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to probably like, Bobby, and then go forward and, okay. I don't know, try to heal her. Uh, go ahead. And help her in uh, her drunken state. <laughs> the healing works automatically you heal her wound you kind of help her with the pain go ahead and make roll a d20 okay 12 okay you would get a bonus for that um probably around a plus two plus three you are able to help her through the birthing process and you kind of tend to her and you notice that she uh she births four to six good puppies okay uh go ahead and make another medicine check okay oh two unfortunately the mother dies no the strain was too much she was just too old it was but you have the puppies <laughs> so damn it what am i supposed to do with you guys um, just adopt all of them <laughs> have, a, have a pack of huskies <laughs> pretty much um you also know that like there are there are uh commoners who would probably be willing to adopt them you spent a lot of time here um, some people would be willing to adopt them. There's probably uh, an agency or something like that that you could hand some of them off to that they'd be willing to handle the animal care. And, of course, there's always yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm probably going to, like, spend a couple of days. How many did you say there were? Uh, six. Six. I 
think I might try to narrow it down to like two puppies because I don't know if I can handle six, although that would be awesome. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to keep them for now. Okay, and you're take gonna keep them all to Alakan with me. Okay. <laughs> and I guess get some like milk or something to to keep them going with. You find a uh, you find this um, it's actually you find uh, a pet shop, a literal okay. pet shop. Uh, it's run by this uh, dark skinned, like like African skinned uh, individual who kind of is very sort of flamboyant and wears very uh, ostentatious colors. And as you come in, he's like, Oh, you wish to find food for your pets. I am happy to sell you they're, food. They're not my pets. This oh, is just temporary. Are you, are you, do you wish to sell them to me? I no, can take care of them. No. No. Are they your pets or are they not your pets? Uh, you keep talking about the, the milk stuff or food stuff. Very well. He <laughs> looks at you funny and he puts out a small case and he's like, here's one month's supply of food for these pets. One month is 45 days. Okay. He says, I will sell you this for uh, a paltry sum of 20 gold. Seems like a lot. They're pretty small little puppies. You think, uh, can we do 15? You, you drive a hard bargain, but yes. Alright, fair enough. And he gives you the box. He says, free of charge, here's crate. <laughs> and he gives you a big wooden crate filled with hay. He's like, you can keep them in there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so now I have six puppies. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> was not expecting that, but it's okay. Um, it's, we'll it's let their pers- personalities <laughs> develop a little bit and see who who stays. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Appease your master, or else you will be sold. <laughs> Two caring individuals. <laughs> it's still funny. Uh, so puppy scene. I can't have six dogs. That would be crazy. Uh, <laughs> So you now have the crate, you have the food. Um, are you going to begin making your way back to Alagon? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. And this happened, like, you still have three days left in the city if you wanted to. The puppies don't really have time to develop. It's going to take them a while to right. sort of develop a bit. Um, but uh, if you found somebody who, like, if you had the box, some people would probably, like, approach you and ask if they were for sale, are you interested, that sort of thing. You could make insight checks if you wanted to sort of determine if any of them would be good parents yeah or you can I, hold I think six is probably a lot so if if people approach <laughs> because um, you have you still have three days and you're kind of making a name for yourself like one of the uh some of the tavern patrons will see the puppies and stuff like that okay so i think you know i, I would i would do like insight checks to maybe try to find like three owners or something go ahead and make an insight check. all right 15 all right uh, it would be plus something, so that's even higher. Uh, you are able to find uh, one person who seems to be kind of like an upper middle class, uh, kind of heading over here because he's like, oh, there's a hot new thing happening. Uh, he seems like he would be a good owner. He says he has uh, just has a new baby that could probably use a pet. Um, as they grow up together, they can uh, spend time together. Okay, yeah, you can have it. Go, take it. Takes, I didn't even like it anyway. He takes the puppy and right. he takes one of the, uh, uh, some of the food. And he says, uh, how much do I owe you for it? Oh, man. He's a wealthy dude. <laughs> but they're just puppies. <sighs> Ten gold. He says, mm, that seems a little high. Can I do five gold? Promise to be a good owner to this puppy forever? I will protect her with my life. All right, fine. Hands you five gold. Uh, go ahead and make another insight check. Okay. Nine. All right. Uh, you get one guy. You're pretty sure he's going to try and use it for dog fighting. <laughs> hey, I'm like, get out of here. Keep walking. Keep walking, uh, man. Fine, fine. I don't got no puppies for you. Uh, on the next day, you actually notice the drunk guy. <laughs> oh, God. He's, he's like, I remember you. All right, I'm just going to punch him in the face. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. <laughs> 18. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Keep walking. I was going to ask for the one of the puppies. Yeah, They're I'm cute. not giving you one. Oh, man. Whatever, you bitch. Mom. Keep I walking. I didn't kill her gonna like threateningly get a fireball he, he gets the fuck out of there uh and uh you're you're also able to find somebody who seems to be a, a commoner or like 
kind of lower class, looking for some companionship and something to care for. Seems like she would be a good owner. Alright. I let her have a puppy for free. Okay. She takes the puppy, a little bit of the food, and she's like, hey. And she says, bless your heart, Ajazmal. Bless you. And then she heads off back to her life. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, you're down to four puppies. Four puppies. And you begin making your way back to Alagon. So it's uh, one, two, three days to Box Leon, and then a day and a half to Alagon. So go ahead and roll me um, D12 five times. Where is it? Just in case those elks reappear. So is that, is that <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll say hi to them this time. Maybe. Or maybe not. What is that? Oh, three. <laughs> okay. Uh... Five times you said? Mm-hmm. Is that six? Oh, yeah, six. Five. All right, uh, stop for oh. a second. Uh, at this point, you arrive in uh, Voxley Allen. Did you want to check in with anybody here? Who's he? Every, did everyone piece out of Voxley Allen or all the... Not everybody. Uh, you know Lysander said he was going to be sticking around. Oh, right, to do his artist guild thing. Yes. Um, beyond that... You're not certain, but you think he would probably be the only one here. You could pop in and say hi to him if you wanted. All right, I'll go say hi to Lysander, show him my puppies. <laughs> hey, Noah! Oh, yeah. Could you please come in here for a second? Sure! Oh, boy. <laughs> I think he's frightened. <laughs> Just gonna show him. <laughs> what did I do wrong this time? Uh, day, day 24 of your downtime so before before all the stressful stuff you're, oh boy. <laughs> you're uh, as a reminder let's see oh this was Joff um Lysander yes. so at this point you have um you've established the artist guild you're re- relatively self-sufficient yep. you have not had the artist fair and Demetrius has not arrived okay so this is before stuff happened yeah, this is a pretty early. Like you're yeah. almost self sufficient, but you're not a hundred percent there yet. Okay, so <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, Jasmine shows up and she's got a, a wooden crate full of hay. <laughs> hey. Hey, how's it going? I mean, hey. Oh. Ah. Get out of here! <laughs> oh wait, I'm in your place. You're in my house now. <laughs> Still, get do, out. Do you do you show her? Do you show her the place? Like, where do you guys meet? Uh. Chances, chances are I would run into you on the street while advertising for the guild. So okay. it's got like a handful of flyers. Join the artist guild. Join the artist guild. Paint. Do art stuff, I guess. Craft. Like cra- things. Paint. Pay me. Paint. Craft. Make a living. Join others. Etc. Etc. Oh, hey, hey. 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 Also jokes. Hey. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> how have you been? I know it's been a little bit. Uh, what's with the crate? Do you think your artist skill could use a adorable, fluffy, tiny mascot? How tiny are we talking and how fluffy? Um, I, I have four puppies. I had six. Where did you get, <laughs> where did you get four puppies? Well, this guy was throwing a rock at a dog, and I was very drunk, and I made him go away, and then the dog died, but it had four puppies before it did. Okay. Or, sorry, it had six. I've gotten rid of too, because I don't want them. They're not even that cute, I say, looking at them. <laughs> you automatically succeed on your insight check. She thinks they're adorable. Anyway. You don't need to lie to me. I get that you're infatuated. So, I don't want four puppies. Great. Um, know anybody who wants some puppies before I go on to Alagon? <laughs> you can't take them with you? Maybe, like, Like, I'm assuming you can't. I'm assuming you can't. Like, that's yeah. a lot of... Well, um, I was just... Coming by to say hi, see how you're doing, and yep. um, also, here are some puppies. <laughs> also puppies. Sure, that's, okay, um, I'm sure that the guild members would love to have some office dogs. <laughs> I think, also, I actually have some news for you. Oh, yeah? Um, so, I, after, after you skedaddled out of town and got out of here because of the possible Black Lotus assassin and whole deal. Yes. I kept tabs I on him for that. a sec. Oh, yeah? Um, I... We happened to both go to Lord Numera on the same day, and so I I didn't get any details as to what happened necessarily, but he didn't kill no, Lord Numera, as far as I'm aware. Good. I alerted the guards immediately to the fact that he could be a dangerous individual. They, uh, The clerk at the office reassured me that it was fine, but she'd call him anyway, just in case. Uh, nothing really seemed to have come of it. 
what I'm worried about is that now I don't know where he is. Oh, I'm okay. Sure, I'm sure that the Black Lotus member is somewhere in town because he asked to meet with me possibly at some point in the near Ooh. future. And there's another development. Um, you and I aren't talking anymore. Uh oh, what happened? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but suffice it to say, I think that's the reason I'm not going to have that meeting with a Black Lotus agent because I told him to meet me at the Black Tower where she is and that's not happening anymore. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, man. I actually don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? Aww. How about we get a drink? <laughs> okay. That that might be a good idea. Yeah, the puppies can have some too, I guess. I don't know. No! Yeah, I am sure. Okay. No, no, no. Milk. That, that was a stupid joke, okay? Okay. Fine. They, all can, right. they can drink some they can water. Drink milk. I, I, I need some levity here. All right, all right. I'm all sorry. Right. I, it's okay. I'm not actually going to feed them alcohol. Okay. That would be mean. All right. That'd let's get hilarious. a drink and hear about no, what I'm happened with your, <laughs> with your UA. Who well, I guess is not yours anymore, it sounds like. I mean... <laughs> I, it was complicated to begin with. So... Over right. a night of drinking, yep. if you don't I will buy Lysander all the drinks he needs oh, to tell okay. me the truth. <laughs> how many How many drinks is that? Is one? Two? <laughs> Probably not many, right? <laughs> all of them. No, no, I, 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 around three drinks he opens up. We'll go ahead and say, just, we'll knock off a silver for right. drinks. Okay, go, so he opens up. Uh, I don't have anything to do the oh. thing with. If you can't tell it to me, just tell it to the puppy. And I'm gonna... you, you brought the puppies to the pub? Of course! <laughs> she can't well, let them out of her sight. Where am I going to put them? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, right, bye. So... We'll also say you've got a room at the end for the night. Okay, so through alcohol and tears, <laughs> Lysander tells you the story about what just happened. Uh, long story short, Yue was totally under the impression that they were dating or something. They were oh, a burgeoning romance. Which is understandable, given that Lysander didn't understand how much he was coming on to her, until his friend, <laughs> Ferris, after the date and stuff with you and all the shenanigans, he sent a letter to Lysander, including the letter that she had sent to Lysander, to his address in Alagon. It was a big mess, and essentially what went on was that Lysander realized, oh no, I got a letter down. Because <laughs> Ferris said if he didn't, if he didn't tell Yue about his wife, That's Ferris was going to deck him. Pretty much. He was going to deck. Friends, uh, don't let, Ferris. friends don't let I friends mean, cheat on their wives. No, and, and yeah. on top of that, that's not Or what lead on poor, wants. weird necromancy girls. She's nice, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to slam things because I don't know how proud this is, but like, just. Here, you can just hit my hand. I just. God damn it. Just. I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't mean to hurt her. So, did you write her a letter? Did you talk to her? I, grabbed, I bought her a drink and then talked to her. Okay. It might not have been the best setting. <sighs> You should have called I, me. I could have uh, written you a song or a speech uh, or something. We are never, ever, ever <laughs> getting <No>. together. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more of a fan of Carly Rae Jepsen. What do you think about it? <laughs> no, uh, but no, I I made a mistake. I made a horrible mistake. And now I actually kind of cared about her. I, I was interested in what she was doing. I thought that she could be a good friend. And then, well, I did the thing that friends don't do and... I just I let her oh, down man. and it, it ended up going too hard. I didn't realize, and I did it by telling her about my wife. Oh, why did I? She. Oh, why did I? Oh, uh, okay, man. So I kind of regret buying you those drinks now. Give me. I a love. I, I love. No, you're buying this round. No. Uh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe I'll switch to water. Oh, you cheapskate. Maybe I'll switch to water. Lysander <laughs> doesn't drink. To excess very often uh, it takes quite a it's bit. Depression drinking. That's the, the every time wow. you guys go. Every guys. Get, every time you guys go to a pub or something, I get water. Like the only time he ever got really drunk was when he was tempted to take a deal with devils. Uh -huh. Nobody realized, and he took the deal with the devils. Oh, and now in this case, I'm being super open about what went wrong, <laughs> because ow. Yeah. Um, so that's my story. I I love Lysander's story. It's Man. always filled with tragedy and woe. You know, so tragic. <laughs> well, this was a fun catch up. Uh, thank you for the puppies. Have a puppy. You definitely need a puppy or two. 
I, I don't know if I could really take care of it, but I mean, with the well, guild, I've got enough yeah, people. You, just let them live at, live at your guild, and when you oh. need to cry, you can cry into the puppy fur. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. Well, also, well, make sure you feed it two times a day. Yes. She hands you a, a month's worth of food. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Um, <laughs> They'll be on solid food soon enough, but for now... Okay. Well, that, that slightly <laughs> changes what the original plan was. Oh, does it? Oh, no, oh, no not, not the plan. Sorry, correction. Not the plan, but the proceedings. Oh, With okay. sm- minor co- uh, cosmetic details for the scene that we did. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Talk about it later, because that happens later after the book is happening. Yeah. Um, thank you. And are you still in town for a bit, or are you just... I'm, I'm going to be heading on to Alagon uh, oh. tomorrow morning, but... I can play you some sad music tonight just to like get your feelings out if you want. I'm all out of love. I'm so oh. lost without you. <laughs> Maybe we can just like drunkenly sing along to some sad, mm-hmm. sad love songs. That sounds perfect. There, there you go. go. I'll keep buying you drinks even yeah. though you kind of don't deserve them because oh. you definitely led that girl on. It's yeah. So. <laughs> At the end of all this, uh, whenever it is leaving, Lysander mentions that you sh- if you could say hello to Haas and everyone, uh, that'd be great. I'll be making my way up to Algon soon enough. Uh, Ronald okay. Lee had agreed. All right. Good luck with the artist guild thing <laughs> no, and your, that's going well, yeah. your heart. It'll go on. It probably will. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Jasmal is trying really hard not to take any amusement in this, but like, not totally succeeding. Because <laughs> to, to know, to know, to is know, just funny. To know in character, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew that was gonna go horribly wrong, and I knew there was no way out of it. I really didn't want it to. I wanted you guys to work out. I like UA. And then I rolled a two when I tried rolling persuasion to explain everything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did she get could mad? Take... Had I rolled a one, she would have attacked me. Apparently. Did she like pour a drink on you or something? No, she walked out. Crying. She she oh. burst into tears and ran out of the tavern yeah. crying. Damn. And now she. And, and then you kind of you did kind of bond with the Starfield who was falling around. She bought you around and then punched you in the arm and you drank it all on her. And then I gave her a replacement and she gave it to someone else. Well, yeah, oh, she's okay. not she's not gonna drink twice. She wanted to buy one round for you and one round no, for no, her. No, no, no. I know, I know. But whatever. Um, Anyways. In any case, wow, that was depressing. All right, enjoy the puppies. Uh, enjoy Did you give her give him one puppy or two? Two? Would yeah. you take two? Two for the office. Perfect. You take yeah. two puppies. I, I don't want to be the creep who named from UA. I'll figure out a different name. Oh my awesome. god, do not name that. Okay, <laughs> let's shake on this. You're not naming it UA. That's weird. I, I was jo- I'm joking about that out of character. <laughs> that'd be horrible. <laughs> and Desmond, you do have plenty of time if you wanted to stick around today. You could. <gasps> if you want to see the guild Whoa. proceedings and everything. Or you could bounce out. Hey, I might as well see what's up. Yeah, see. Or you what... could slip off and go talk to Yue and try and patch up the relationship. Oh, oh gosh, I'm not going to meddle in his <laughs> crazy <laughs> love life. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please do that. That sounds like a bad idea. Nah. <laughs> All right. Unless, <laughs> so, unless you want to go, like, she knows we that... could go stand outside her window and I can, like, Is that the equivalent of holding music? up a boombox? Yeah. <laughs> You wanna? <laughs> except, I'm, except I'm holding up the bar like playing the sitar. Are whatever. you are you drunk enough to go try it? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. he, he knows that that's gonna cause trouble. I, I, right before you bumped into him, he saw he saw her on the street and he just went. No, I'm not gonna talk. I think you bumped into her, bumped into her on the street. Uh, Afterwards or. It was before. It was like a couple weeks before him. Yeah. So it's been it's been a while since that happened because you had it's been it's been about twenty three days. I do want to patch things up, but I see no way of doing this. Oh, All I'm gonna do is her one. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like maybe you gotta just give her give her the space she needs to heal. Yep. But yeah, I'll check down. out your operation and see where my uh, uh not yeah, my yeah. puppies, the puppies are going to be living. Yes, those that were previously your puppies and are now the office yes. puppies. They were never my puppies. They were just temporarily in my care. That you helped birth. It's a yes. I brought them world. into this world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, Lysander shows you the artist guild. It's still kind of in operation. He's still kind of cleaning it up. He has like a, a rundown warehouse that he's working, getting repairs done. It's actually coming along well. Filling in with supplies, getting uh, recruits. Uh, around this point, you start, you break threshold and you start becoming self sufficient. Um, 
he shows you like it's basically like just a giant empty warehouse that he's put furniture in and he says that like he's probably gonna make some upgrades when he actually gets the ball rolling nice. gets some more cash he's talking about putting an artist fair together uh, yeah. cool so in fact that should really be happening in a few days if you want to stick around uh it'd be about five days about five, five days, days? Oh, sorry approximately but yes five about mm-hmm. the f- oh, like, like, five like, days we're scheduling it from- okay so you're <laughs> it's just like a bunch of people selling their crafts and stuff. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a big old convention. We're so, trying to get artists. We're trying to get people to make their money so they feel sell like the crafts, the show off their work, kind of make a statement amongst all the other guilds. Yeah, it shows people that we are in fact here and we're not just in the warehouse that nobody goes to. Okay. Huh? Sure. Why not? Also okay. gives you some more time to uh, make sure that the puppies have a good home. Yeah, and so, maybe maybe look for. Nah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna keep the last two. You're gonna have two puppies. Yeah. Oh boy, you're gonna go on adventures with two small puppies in your care. Oh god. Oh god. They need to grow up. Maybe maybe I can find someone to temporarily care for them until they get like big enough. I've heard, I've heard that Joff is building a cabin over. East we'll Alabama. see. We'll, I mean, we'll work on that. But I mean, and an Bruce awesome. was talking about going up to uh, Orlean yeah, to speak with his cousin, yeah. and. Uh, and all those, the uh, Agra, the bandit lord. Yeah. And you know he likes he likes dogs. Oh, yeah. I uh, don't think that's a good idea, but yeah. So, you have five days in the town before the Artist Guild. Uh, what are you doing to occupy your time? Can I find a place where I can just kind of, like, perform and at night and... Sure. Uh, you know? Do you want the, uh, the upscale place or the downscale place or a mid-range? Um, mid-range, maybe. Mid-range? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. Fifteen. Okay, you were able to convince the the tavern owner to give you free room and board for your performance, um, basically canceling out any cost needed. Um, you start putting on performances uh, because of your natural talent as a bard, and you've had plenty of time to gather korma based stories. You're able to put on a very acceptable performance for everybody, and yeah, the five days pass uneventfully. And if you wanted, didn't want to do anything else, like you, you would technically have the days to mostly do whatever you want. Yeah, just. Wander around, talk sure. to people. Go ahead and roll me sure. D twelve real quick. All right, four. Okay. Um, you wander around, talk with a couple of people here and there. Uh, you actually do run into UA <laughs> on the street. Oh boy. <laughs> you you recognize her as UA from his descriptions, but I don't believe you've ever met her. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. We've so you see this woman walking with two armed guards behind her. She's dressed in black robes. Uh, close crop, close cropped black hair. Yeah. How's the golf look going on? I guess I don't know. She's she's got like I mean, out of I, character. She's got a little bit of an Asian bend yeah, every, and. Every necromancer looks like a golf. I mean. Necromancers have the black color. That's what the guilds have agreed on. So you see her in the distance, and you realize you could approach her right now if you wanted. But you're not going I'm to. I'm not going to. I knew it. It's you love life. Too bad. I was All right. Leave the room if you um, need to do a scene. Maybe, maybe I'll just like stand there and and sing like an uplifting <laughs> ballad as she passes, just to try sing, to give her sing some an uplifting cheer, ballad. Like she kind I of will love again. Oh, okay. <laughs> My <laughs> heart will go on. <laughs> yep. Sticking the knife in the wound and twisting. Well, you're not there, so don't worry about it. No, I'm trying I'm, to try to amp her up good. and just help her yeah. help her she, feel better. <laughs> you can also give her inspiration while you're doing it. She's sure, like, I will. <laughs> She kind of seems to perk up a little bit, and she seems, <laughs> she doesn't seem, like, destroyed, but she does uh, seem sad, but recovering a bit. All right. I will survive. I will survive. Uh, go ahead and roll a d12 uh, two or three more <laughs> times. Or should I head out, or is, I like, mean, we're leading up to the festival thing. So. We're leading up to the festival. Like, this is just, you're out on the street promoting, yeah. trying to get recruiting. She's kind of wandering, yeah. making... If I notice you, I hide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go ahead. All right. So, seven, two... Oh, so close. Ten. All right. Man, Octavio was going to show up, and he was going to have words and blades. Oh, Octavio Abdul oh, Nuevo oh, uh, Rioja, oh, the oh, Black Lotus Assassin. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's still in town, and yes, he has a He is still in town. I probably should not have stuck around, but... Uh, you do not come across him. You do kind of, every now and again, hear whisperings. They're like, oh, there's another one of them, and you know what they're talking about. Uh, but at the end of your time, you've... Uh, sung your story, you've made a little bit of a name for yourself, uh, and the festival happens, or the fair, you can see that there are Turns out pretty well. yeah, a Lysander and a blue-skinned elf are running the whole thing. Lysander, you introduce him? Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, Demetrius, me, Jasmal, Jasmal, and Demetrius. Hey, Demetrius good? says hi. I'm his uh, second in command. I run things when he's not around. Cool. Yeah. Just came Seems on. like you put something pretty good together here, yeah. guys. You yeah. notice there's uh, a couple people putting on demonstrations of chiseling. A couple people are selling paintings. A few people are sort of showcasing their uh, their crafts. And it's a it's a nice little okay. display. Get yeah. someone to make a, a painting of me and my puppies. <laughs> uh, you you do find somebody. The Guild one person. I'm definitely not getting attached to them <laughs> at all. <laughs> Guild friend discount. I don't know. Uh, one person says they'll do a charcoal drawing of you. Yeah, yeah. And they ask for two gold. All right, sure. Why not? Oh, well. Just, you pay. You're not trying to support my friends thing here. Support the arts. Yeah. Foxy so, Allen, center of arts and stuff. I, I don't have a prepared speech. <laughs> oh, list. man. Oh, I could have helped you write that. And, and I was I, just wandering the streets. I saw your girlfriend. I mean, ex. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I saw your girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> I need a minute. Um, she looks okay. She looks okay. Wait, really? Okay, yeah. good, good. She'll, she'll be all right, I think. Okay, good. Uh, so at the end of your... Uh, at the end of the fair, you have a charcoal painting of you with two little husky puppies. Nice. <laughs> Alright. So then, is there anything else that goes on at the... The question I was, what are you doing? Lysander had a pretty pretty chill middle. The in, the beginning was really tense and the end was really tense, but overall it was pretty okay. chill. The middle was incredibly chill. So, successful TV. artist fair, basically? Yep. Yep. He, he put on a, a solid performance. He had enough support amongst the people and the guilds to be able to uh, put on a decent show. And Lord Demera wasn't going to roadblock him or anything like that. Okay. Cool. So you're going to head out on Great success. 31? I'll see you in Alagon. Yep. Yep. That's the plan. You both would know that was about, that's in about uh, nine days and it takes about two days to get there. Okay. Cool. So you head out. Go ahead and roll the 12. Okay. And at this point, I'm sure I should just... <laughs> now you can. Thank you. Six. Yep. Six. Go All ahead right. and roll Bye, one more time. Alexander. <laughs> uh, roll one more time. So, uh, so do you want also, to roll pizza here, and also if you guys want to toss in a few bucks, I paid on my card. So. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I'm not figure it out. You, but... <laughs> All right. Uh, you arrive in Alagon. Um, you were told it'll be two copper to cross the bridge to get into the city, and then two copper to get through the gate. Okay. So you pay it up. Sure. Totally. Four copper uh, through. Gate. Now, um, as you're heading in through the gate, you can actually see Esmeralda and her wagon stabled outside. So oh, okay. you know Haas is still here. Nice. Uh, what would you like to do? You have about eight days before anything interesting was supposed to happen. Um, I mean, I know there's pizza there now, but I feel like she probably would go say hi to Haas. But I don't okay. know if you want to bring him in now or pause and eat pizza or something. We can, um, we'll pause... That's hot. So, after you presented with the smithing skill and you spent your time kind of socializing in the town or the city, making your name for yourself, working the jobs, just kind of just kind of chilling and relaxing, mm-hmm. at about day thirty-two of the forty-day downtime, mm-hmm. Jasmal arrives uh, in town. I'm assuming you head to Snively Infamous's. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Snively greets you and he says, "Hey, welcome back. I remember you." You're Long a great time performer. To see. Thank you. And Haas is sitting there playing cards, working leather, just kind of enjoying a lunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you see her come in, you notice that she's carrying a, a big wooden crate that seems to have hay sticking out of it. Okay. I, uh, I, this is like, Haas is like, welcome back. Long time no see. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, pretty well. That's, things are nice and quiet. Yeah. What have you been up to? Um, well, I joined the Sages Guild. Mm hmm. And um, I've been doing some work. I've been doing some smithing work. I finished um, Joff's armor. Just been relaxing, doing a little bit of study, that sort of thing. Cool. How about you? Uh, how, how have you fared? I, you're, uh, you're alive. Yes. So. Yeah. Thankfully, <laughs> I am. I uh, spent some time with the theater trip and was it or or Oliar. Oliar. Yeah. Um, That's pretty far away, right? Um, it's about five days. Okay. Okay. It's the capital of the kingdom. Okay. Oh, oh. That, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, got some puppies. I don't know if your uh, Sages Guild would be interested in uh, raising some puppies, but I, uh, fate brought these puppies into my life. You look inside okay. the crate and there are two um, <laughs> Black Lab Husky mutts. 
Inside. Uh, like, Haas kind of takes to them. They were, like, they were born a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had six. I've found homes for, like, four of them. I definitely don't want to keep any of them. Say, staring at them. But She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, like, Haas, probably... Haas is like, like well, I, as, I, I wouldn't mind, like, keeping one around. Yeah? But uh, as far as, I mean, people are always in need for dogs. Maybe not in the city. Um, be careful where you shop puppies around in the city. Oh yeah, I, I've already <laughs> punched a few people who I thought would be untrustworthy uh, dog, <laughs> no. dog owners. So <laughs> yeah. Um, Do the dogs like me? Gonna keep one, but I um, don't need. To go ahead and make an animal handling check. <laughs> I'm gonna say I have that. Uh. That. I have an axe plus two. <laughs> That's a nine. Okay. So that would be eleven. They, one of them seems like he kind of goes up to you and likes getting the pets. Okay. The other one kind of shirks away from the walking metal robot. Okay. So they're like, they're, they're, all right. So they they just need to get used to you here. Um, obviously, if we're going around on adventures, they're so pretty young. Um, mm -hmm. Thinker Sages Guild might be a good safekeeping place for some puppies perhaps as we I don't know is it probably not yeah no. No, I wouldn't think so like they there were some animals around but they were all familiars of the mages um you know Agrid or Lane um like having pets right I wonder if um I wonder if you could pay to have them taken care of when you were off <laughs> Oh, no, no, like Haas says, I wonder if one could pay to have them taken care of while we were off, otherwise preoccupied. And, like, he kind of, like, looks over at the innkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> the innkeeper's just, doom de doom <laughs> Oh, I don't think Snively would be that interesting. Well, look, you could ask. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't want to maybe give them all away forever, but I am trying to find somewhere to kind of uh, let so them get... Big enough that they could come adventure. Okay, yeah, like Haas mentions Agrid. Okay. Um, but that's back to the Boxley Allen. But um, it would be a bit of a hike to get back there in the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. You might have to get a wagon or a horse or something. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna hang on to that. Well, if you would like to, mm -hmm. you're bonding with that one a little bit. If you wanna hang on to it, you're more than welcome to. But I'll just keep one of them anyways. <laughs> Try, like I'm trying to think of how that. <laughs> logistically work. yeah because like i'm obviously going to be going out and adventuring because that's yeah. the whole point of having a tv character mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yep>. so mm. <laughs> they're so cute yeah i guess i don't think that i would have time to raise a dog it's all good yeah all right um, but like snibbly, <laughs> like so snibbly may know yeah i'll be i'll be poking around here and seeing yeah. if i can find anything but That'd be a cool opportunity, but I don't like like in the, in the middle of a game doesn't seem like a good place to. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, got some puppies. I'll figure out what to do with them. But okay. it's like there are. I'm pretty sure there are, there are rooms here. I'm I'm basically just hanging out until. Are you staying in here? Yep, I'm yeah. I'm actually staying here. I'm pretty sure that I, my plan was just to hang out until you know we got uh, kind of tapped. Um, otherwise, I'm I'm working in town. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably be exploring the city for the next few days, but okay, I'll be around. Yep, it's a big city. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll be here because at this point is uh, has Joff shown up? Is this before Joff shows up? This is before Joff. He'll show up in about five days. Okay. Okay. So okay. so for me, you're the first person who's shown who's, up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, depending on what happens with Paul, mm -hmm. we'll see. Right. But yeah. okay. predominantly that's it. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So you just kind of. Cool. You're just going to explore the city? Yeah, yeah, um, I'll just be exploring. Is there anything you need help with or anything while I'm here? No, I'm, I, I'm pretty well set up. Cool. Yeah. At least smithing work done. <laughs> now would be the time to get it done. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you talk with Snively about... Uh, I'll walk. Yeah, okay. that's pro is that all? Yeah. I think so. As, unless you wanted to do something together, which I don't think you do. Not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah probably not. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with, like, the story as... as okay. Cool. As, so, um, did you want to talk to Snibbly about somebody to keep an eye on them, or maybe see if somebody wanted to take one off your hands, and he would have one to then have somebody to keep an eye on? Do you want to ask him that? Yeah, sure. Okay. I just need to ask him something.
MVP though. He had to play in the door. Snively was Noah's old character. Oh, game. okay. Uh, Snively says that he would happily take one of the pups and just keep it at the bar as somebody to for to be cute. Uh, and he says he knows somebody who could uh, keep an eye on the pet while you're busy. If oh, okay. You're interested. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Um, are you singing songs and telling tales in the tavern to pay for your room? Yeah, sure. Okay. If yeah, Snively's down to let me do that for you sure. You've developed quite the uh, yeah. skill with him. My so, bud. Yeah. Uh, so you give him one of the pets. He takes it and he, you give him the food and he uh, puts it off behind somewhere in the bar, somewhere that he can keep an eye on things and it doesn't cause too much chaos. Right. And he directs you to a um, a uh, middle-aged woman in one of the rundown districts. He says this woman uh, never had any kids, never married. She has plenty of free time. She makes a decent living, um, but she is also known as a. Uh, she likes to tend to small children, so she's kind of like an unofficial orphanage. Oh, okay. And she says that he says that she would be great for keeping an eye on the pet for you. Perfect. Yeah, I'll okay. go visit with her. I guess. Okay. Uh, she says that she would uh, keep an eye on him. She wants. Um, she wants to know how long and also ask that you pay for food absolutely um i will pay for food and give her like a little extra just okay. for you know being kind enough to do it and i don't know if she still has like little orphans running around maybe to help them out um a bit sure um probably by the time it's like full grown you know like still a puppy but um so probably like i think that's like close to, six seven yeah, months or something like six months yeah um, and mm. I mean, I'll probably hang on to it for the next few days while I'm in the city and like drop it off before I might go somewhere. Um, but I'll give you like six months worth of money plus, or like food. Right. Plus. So, um, that would be 60 gold. Uh, and do you want to pick that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And she says it's totally fine for you to hold on to him. Um, during that time, um, it, she says it is your pup. Just uh, make sure to deliver him before you leave. <laughs> sure. um, and I'm assuming you just play with the pup, yeah. go to the city, stay away from the Rigelin area. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I should. Although I feel like <sighs> I don't know. Would it be worth it to try to learn more about like? how Rigelin people live here? Like, are they all, like, slaves, or... I mean, could I ask that not without going directly there, like... You could ask some people. Yeah. Somebody knows some people. Uh, you are able to find out. They're not all ex-slaves. Most of them are just... Uh, they just left and came here. In fact, most of them, if they see a slave, just kind of shun it and kind of try and keep it out of their area because oh. they don't want to cause any trouble. Right. Um, but they are kind of... They're not in the best of living circumstances. They're kind of off in one of the slums, and they've kind of built up a wall around their area to keep them separated from everybody else because everybody's kind of hating on them a bit. Okay. Um, so not great living conditions, but they are. They feel it is better than where they came from. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I guess I'll just give them their space then. <laughs> okay. So, day 33, uh, puppy to caretaker and yeah you just spend some time socializing around in the city kind of talking learning Getting some stories, stories yeah. or... you get some pretty interesting stories that you are free to bust out as you wish nice uh i'm assuming you run out the clock at this point just yeah playing. sure okay day 40 comes and uh your your uh daytime your downtime is over okay any awesome. idea what you're gonna name your puppy you oh. 40 days oh uh, good question. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay. I'll shoot you a message. Awesome. And I hope it was finishes 